Hey guys, John here. Wanted to do a quick video to show you how to program the Kenwood TMV71 radio. Uh, we're going to show how to set up a repeater and then save a channel to your memory channels. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, first thing that we need to do is go ahead and get into VFO mode. So let's go ahead and click that. Um, you can see now that we're in two meter, um, the two meter band, but if we wanted to change our bands, we could uh, do that by pressing the function button and then the volume knob of the particular tuner that we wanted to um, manipulate. So let's go ahead and press that again. You can see we can cycle through all the different bands that we have available to us. And we're gonna go to the two meter band. So here we are, we're at the two meter band. And the next thing that we wanna do is go and tune to the frequency that we want to get to. So in our particular instance here, I wanna to get to 490. So 145.490. Um, you can see a lot of the settings are already set up for repeater here, but we're just gonna assume for all intents and purposes that you didn't have any of those settings set up for you. So right now we're just in simplex mode. Um, this would be just radio to radio, no repeater that we're contacting. And so what we wanna do now is if we have a shift, we want, um, well, you're gonna, if it's a repeater, you're gonna have a shift. And so you need to set what the shift is. So for this rep particular repeater, we need to set it up for a negative shift. And so what we're gonna do is click function button and then this rev button, which is, you can see is clicking shift. So we click that once and you can see now we have the positive shift. We click it one more time, we have negative shift. All right, the next thing that we need to control is the tone. Now, sometimes repeaters don't have tones, but oftentimes they do have a tone. And that's something that you have to account for. And so what we need to do then is click what tone type that we have. There's three different types that this radio supports. There's just standard tone, there's CT, and DCS. Now for this repeater, and like most repeaters, we're just gonna have standard tone. Now this turns on the tone, but it does not set what tone, um, the tone may not be right, the frequency of that tone. So we need to go ahead and adjust the frequency of that tone. So we're gonna press function, tone, and that's gonna bring up what frequency that we need. Now, this just so happens to be the tone that I need for this repeater, but you can adjust whatever tone that you need. So you can cycle all the way around and get whatever tone you need, but we're gonna go back to 100, and then we're gonna to click tone again. So now, we should be able to contact that repeater and uh, make sure that it's working for us. I'm gonna go ahead and test it. KG7AGM testing. So you can hear we heard the tone back from the repeater. So we got into the repeater, so that's a good sign. Um, so now let's go ahead and we can keep it here and that works just fine if you just wanna set that up for a one-time thing. But if we wanna save this um, frequency and this repeater um, as a memory channel um, for later, we can do that. So what we wanna do now is we press the function button and you can see that um, number for the memory channel starts blinking when we do that. So we wanna adjust what memory channel we wanna take this to. So for my purposes, I am going to take this to number 999. And then I'm gonna click the MR. All right, looks like we've got someone that's uh, playing around with the Peter, so I'm gonna turn that down so we don't hear that anymore. All right, and so now we have um, this frequency set up as uh, number channel number 999, and we can test that by clicking MR here. And you can see now we have our channel number 999. So as we cycle through our various channels that we have here, we can see that 999 is now our new repeater that we just set up. Now we can leave that alone, but the other thing that we can do here is we can customize what the name of this channel is. And so, like you can see on this left-hand side, um, this one has uh, got a custom name. We can do that same thing for this. So what we wanna do is click the function button, and then we're gonna click 
this button right here. And what that's going to do is going to take us into the menu. Now, we're already on that setting now, but if you're not on that setting, you need to get to menu number 200. And so that's our memory name. And so if we go ahead and click that again, the button, now we can cycle through and name whatever we want to name that channel. So I'm just going to name it the name of what the call sign is for the repeater, which is K, K7JL. So I'm going to go through this and enter in the characters that I need in order to name that. So K7JL. And then just click the button one more time and that will save it. So you can see now that our memory name is now K7JL. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to press um, uh, the function button. And so you can see now that our memory channel is named K7JL. And that's how you go ahead and do that. Now, um, one last thing, if you want to see the frequency again of the particular channel, if you just go ahead and click this button when you're in this mode, you can see that it will bring up the frequencies for whatever channel that you're on here. So as we cycle through the various channels, we can see those frequencies. Um, but as we come to, you know, like if we want to see the name, we can just cycle between it by just clicking this button here. And so that's pretty much it. So, you know, you can do this manually just like we did here, which, you know, is always a good thing to know how to program your radio. Uh, maybe you're not gonna have the opportunity to be able to hook this up to a computer and you wanna save a memory channel. But computers are a good thing too. So we can hook up this radio to a, a computer and use a program like uh, Chirp, for instance. And that allows us to be able to program a large database of repeaters um, into our radio around um, that's geographically to our area. And so we won't get into that now in this video, but just know that, that, that that's not the only way that you can program your repeaters in is through this manual method. There are software methods to be able to do this as well. I hope this video was helpful for you to learn a little bit more about the Kenwood TMV71. Thanks.